Hey guys, how are you? David here. It is June 17th, 2009, aka the official release date of iPhone OS 3.0. Finally, guys, this is a huge update for iPhone users and iPod Touch users as well, of course. And this is an update we've been waiting for months now, and it is finally here. So without further ado, let me give you a brief overview of OS 3.0. And to start off here, let me slide to unlock my phone. It's the same unlock screen we all know. And as you can see, nothing really new on the home screen yet, although I will show you the spotlight feature in just a few minutes. But first off, let's start by talking about the biggest feature probably in iPhone 3.0, and that is cut, copy, and paste. And to demonstrate this, I'll use the notes application with an example note I typed up for this video. Um, I know, it's very creative. I love my iPhone. I couldn't really think of anything else to say. Anyway, to demonstrate this, you Double tap your finger. As you can see, the copy command comes up. Now I'm reaching through the tripod on the right hand, so let's see if I can do this well. Drag the marker, the little blue balls, to where you want the selection to be. Simply type copy. Now, let me bring up the keyboard. Let me press return twice to go down. Double tap. And now you have the option to select. Select all and paste. Obviously, I want to do paste. And there you go. Now, if you want to undo this, you can shake, undo paste, sure, why not? Now, if I shake again, I get even more options, I believe. There you go, sorry. I don't want to hit my camera here. I have undo typing or redo paste. Now, if I do undo typing, I believe it should backspace my two returns I did before. But if I wanted to um, redo my paste that I somehow accidentally deleted, I just simply touch redo paste, and there you go, it's that easy. Now if I want to select all, double tap, select all, simply delete. It's that easy. Um, it's a feature that should have been there from the uh, beginning, but you have to give, whoops, you have to give Apple credit for doing it right. They obviously waited a long time to do this right, and I'm kind of glad they waited because um, you can see it's very functional and it works very well. So that is cut, copy, and paste. Next up is another very popular one, and I'm, I'm going to be using this one all the time. As you know, I'm a heavy Mac user, and I use Spotlight literally every day of my life, along with Expose. And Spotlight is finally on the iPhone in 3.0. And to get to Spotlight, from your main home screen, you can either swipe to the right, or, I just found this out today, you can click your home button, and it'll automatically go there. And a nice feature is you can also click to go back. So you can swipe, or click your way through. So let's go to Spotlight here. Uh, for this demo purpose, I'm just going to type a nice, um, easy one that will definitely come up, and I'll do AOL Radio, and that's a great application. There's an email I have. Now if I click AOL Radio, it'll launch the application, and there you go. I have my video game scores saved as a preset, and there you go, playing over Wi-Fi. Let's quit AOL Radio. Uh, let's go back to Spotlight and type another example. Uh, how about Twitter phone? And there you go, Twitter phone. It's that easy and it's very, very quick. Guys, I love this feature. This is probably my favorite feature next to cut, copy, and paste. And there you go. And if you want to customize your search settings, you go into settings. Your search results, I'm sorry. Get a general, I believe, yes. And then scroll down just a little bit until you get to home. In the very bottom here, you see a new option called search results. Now you can relist, I mean, reorder all these in the order you want your search results to display. And it's that easy. Also, a new feature they added to if you double click the home button before, you had the option between phone favorites and what was it? iPod, yeah. Now you have the option to do it between search and camera, which I think is a nice result uh, feature, but I still do phone favorites because I use that one pretty often since my family is in the favorites list. And there you go, that's Spotlight. Next up is one that has been requested for probably two years now, and that is a landscape keyboard and more um, key applications, such as Messages, um, which was used to be called SMS, so it's, it still is the same application with a couple new features, but just a new name. So I'm going to go into Messages. I have a example conversation with myself so I don't display anyone's um, last name on here. But anyway, um, you can see I said iPhone FTW to myself and it came back to myself since, well, it's myself. And now if you send a message, it'll automatically send right away. You know, let me just type a bunch of stuff. 
and the sending status is now at the top. See, right up there. And the message goes right away. So that way you can, I don't know, it's just an easier way to work in my opinion. Now, if you tilt the phone, have the accelerometer kick in, and there you go, I can now type horizontally, send. Now keep in mind, I do not have MMS yet, because um, AT&T is waiting until later this summer, which I think there's no excuse for, because they had a few months to plan this. Um, but anyway, once I do have MMS support, a picture icon should appear right here. And that way I can send pictures, videos, with the new iPhone 3GS. This is the original iPhone, but I will be getting the new iPhone 3GS very shortly. Trust me, I want it really bad. And stuff like that. So that is landscape support, but it also supports... Oops, sorry. There you go. My Mac went into screensaver mode. Um, it also supports an email, which is up here, and notes. Let me go into notes real quick. Nothing really that special here, but a lot of people will use landscape keyboard, including myself. And let it kick in. And there it is. There are my notes. Save that. And there you go. And that is landscape keyboard support. Now, the fourth one I want to talk about is one that I found out today. Camera. The camera seems to be much faster. I mean, it still takes a couple seconds to launch, but as you can see, the new picture icon displays your last picture in the bottom left. That's just a picture I took for um, this video's purpose. That's a picture of the cats I have, my OS 10 cat collection. I believe this share icon changed a little bit. Nothing really new there, but if we go back to the camera application, you can probably see it takes photos a lot faster. See, look at that. It's taking them and dropping them in, which I think is a lot faster than before, so that is a nice addition in my opinion. And if um, you have an iPhone 3GS, there will be a slider right here allowing you to switch between snap mode for, you know, still pictures, and camera mode, which allows you to take video at, I believe, 640 by 40 application, uh, application, resolution, sorry. So once I get an iPhone 3GS, maybe I'll do a demonstration video if anyone um, requests it, but there should be plenty of videos on YouTube by now. Other than that, there wasn't really anything that new added to the camera application. Most of the new features are in the iPhone 3GS, which includes autofocus, better low light support, and all that good stuff. So to truly appreciate the new camera app, you have to have an iPhone 3GS, but for current iPhone and iPhone 3G users, um, we did get some nice um, enhancements with the preview icon on the bottom left and faster picture taking. And fifthly is a cool application that is called Voice Memos. This is an entirely new application which allows you to, well, as the name insists, to record voice memos. And as you can see, if I'm talking, the little sensor is going, so if I yell, test, testing one, Sorry, I had to yell there. It almost got up to the red mark, so it's a real-time um, status. So if I click record, you'll hear a little notification. Now if you listen, three, two, one. Hello guys, this is a testing on the creativeone.tv. For all my viewers, you guys rock, and thanks for all the support. Click stop. Now if you click this, your list of recordings comes up. Now this looks just like the voicemail application. Hello guys. Now, if I wanted to share that, I could email it to myself by touching email voice memo. But if I wanted to trim it, oops, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to touch the little arrow. Touch the arrow, trim memo. Just like the new camera application does for videos, you can also trim audio. So if I wanted to trim that, trim voice memo, and I'll go back. I always miss that little button. What is it doing here? There we go. And as you can hear, it worked perfectly. You gotta love it. Delete that. Yeah, there's no need to keep that, but there you go. There's a little shout out to my subscribers. And that is voice memos. This next feature is probably one that's going to go a little less notice in my opinion, but it is very convenient, and that is more support for the iTunes Store. Now you can officially download movies, TV shows, music videos, and audiobooks. Before, this is only possible via iTunes on your Mac or PC and, and the Apple TV. Now, honestly, I, I, don't, I don't see myself downloading movies or TV shows via my iPhone, but it is a nice feature to watch previews on the go and user thoughts and stuff like that. So for this uh, video example, I pulled up a 
movie that I've yet to see. It's called Mac Heads. It's about why being a Mac user is so great and stuff like that. Um, I have yet to buy this, but I'm definitely going to buy it in the future. And just like uh, past iTunes features, not features, I should say, songs, you can preview the video. If I touch preview, it'll pop up in just a second. It takes a little second to buffer. It takes a few seconds. This is going over Wi-Fi, so this, um, I don't know how fast this is going to go. It depends on your connection. And just touch pl uh, play since we have a few seconds done. And there's Macworld 2007, San Francisco by Steve Jobs. And you can double tap, zoom in, double tap, zoom out. And that's it. Very cool. And also they added a new button down here. No, 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 not mine. That's in the iTunes App Store. Sorry. The App Store, not iTunes App Store, sorry. Well, same thing. Anyway, I'll talk too much. That is the iTunes application. Um, I guess I'll search for a TV show real quick. This is my first time searching Lost. So there you go, there's Lost. It's loading slower than you think it would. Anyway, let's get a Lost Season 3. It's probably loading slower today since Apple servers, I'm sure, are getting slammed with all the um, update downloads they're getting. If I touch this, I should get a preview. Yep, and here it comes. Give that a few seconds of the buffer. It shouldn't take long. It's only a 31 second preview. Actually, let's just touch play now so this video's not too long. And to avoid any copyright infringement, let's exit out of that right now. There's a quick preview of Lost Season 3. Season 6 starts in 2010, I believe. Can't wait for that. Final season. Depresses me, but whatever. It's, it has to end eventually. Anyway, I talk way too much, guys. That is the iTunes Store application. And we're almost getting towards the end here. Let's open the Stocks application. This probably doesn't interest everyone, but um, I've, I find Stocks pretty interesting. Now, if I touch Apple... Nothing really happens here. I can just see the results down here. But the real magic happens when you enter horizontal mode, landscape. Now here you can view the data up close. You can swipe between companies. There's Google. There's Microsoft. Now if we go back to Apple, and you take two fingers or two hands, you hold down the left, hold down the right, you can see the changes over time. Now I don't know if my camera is picking that up. Here, let me zoom in a little bit for you guys. Oops, wrong way. There you go. If I hold down on the right, hold down on the left, there you go, much better. You can see the difference, which I think is great. And you can change the view of how many, I mean, of how much time span you want to view. Six months, no, two years. This shows a big difference in Apple. It's so right here, up, 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 way down, up, way down, no, and now over here. Obviously, as you can see, in the last month, they've been doing great. Little drop over here, but it's no big deal. They'll, they'll spring back. And that is the um, stocks application. And finally, let's check out a new updated application. That is YouTube. It now supports full login capabilities. I can now watch my videos uh, without having to search my name, the created one, first. Um, Favorites have always been there, I believe, but subscriptions is new, I believe, and so is my videos. Now, if I click on more, I can reorder what I want to see. Um, the usual categories are still here, such as featured. That will show me the newest featured videos. Now, if I go to my videos, I no longer have to search my name, like I said, and I can watch my own videos on the go pretty quickly. For instance, let's watch... We're not going to watch the whole video, don't worry iMovie 09 demo reel. Zoom in for you guys. And it, lo it loads pretty quickly. It loads fast enough. Their servers might be busier right now. But, yeah, we'll see if this works. You know, it always seems to go slower when you're making a video. I don't know why. That's just how life is, I guess. Oh, there it goes. That's actually... Probably in the top five favorite edits of mine that I've ever done. 
And there you go. You guys all know that movie. Zoom back out here. And there you go. That is the YouTube application. Alright guys, well that's it for the major updates of iPhone 3.0. Um, I apologize if the video was a little unorganized. Like I said, I just got the update literally a couple hours ago. So I'm still learning as I go. But as you can see, the copy and paste functionality, the spotlight functionality, YouTube functionality, the major new features work pretty well. Um, YouTube is going a little slow right now, but I don't, I don't think that's Apple's fault. That's uh, Google and YouTube's problem right now. I'm sure they'll fix it. But anyway, overall, the uh, spotlighting works great. Uh, copy and paste, like I said, Long overdue, but Apple really did it right. And um, what do I have here? But there are many more features coming. Like, for instance, my, my phone doesn't support us, I believe, but we have MMS coming, stereo Bluetooth, note syncing, which is on here. The digital compass, which is a big deal to me because I'm fascinated by that kind of stuff. I don't know about you, but I think that's just damn cool to have in your phone. But that's a feature of the new iPhone 3GS. Um, we also have the Shake the Shuffle, which I didn't sh I actually didn't show you, but... I can do that real quick. Sorry we have that rumbling. It's the air compressor under my room in the basement, in the, ba in the garage. Anyway, uh, let's play a Zelda song, The Marketplace. Probably not into this kind of music, but I am. Anyway, if you shake the shuffle, There it goes. I think it's great. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. As, as you can see, it's a huge update. However, I didn't touch upon every single feature because, well, that would be a long video and you guys would probably fall asleep by then. So I'll put a uh, link in the video description to the right of this video to Apple's official list of new features for iPhone 3.0. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the uh, comment section to this video or email me at daviddefranco at gmail.com. Check out my website, aka the social blog, at thecreativeone.tv. And follow me on Twitter for more updates like this, like tech updates, what I'm up to, interesting links I find around the internet, at twitter.com slash thecreativeone. It's the same name as my YouTube name, so it's pretty easy. And, oh, um, also, add me on Facebook. Facebook.com slash daviddefranco. Alright, that's it. I talked way too much. Thanks for watching, guys, and enjoy iPhone 3.0. And also, to you guys getting, getting the iPhone 3GS, enjoy it. It looks really nice. All right, now leaving. Peace.